monetary wealth doesn't define people in Alaska. This is a king salmon caught in Ketchumak Bay. The natural <laughs> abundance around us, the sense of community and the values that we share, you know, that's what wealth is to many people here. We own the Salmon Sisters and we're commercial fishermen. Alaska is still full of this wild magic. It's a nice otter. Yeah. <laughs> otter Hello, <sighing>. buddy. <laughs> we grew up in the last house on like the continuous United States. Commercial fishing is like the first work our dad felt good about doing outside of like all of the incredibly risky like business factors. And like they lost like three boats before the time we were 10. We just learned general grit or like perseverance. How to put 20 hour days in. That makes the work itself feel um, much more than just a job. It's just yeah. a part of who we are. After college, we were trying to figure out how we could fit fishing into our life. It can be really tough for fishermen. Most people have a profession on land in the winter. We wanted to fish, and so how, how could we do that and still work in the off season? We had a lot of peers who were women who fished, seeking community within the fishing community. And so Salmon Sisters kind of started as a little screen print company, you know, making products that women could wear on the water that represented what we did. Welcome to our shop. <laughs> a lot of our girlfriends who commercial fish as well have small businesses, art design related, and a lot of their products are in here. Here's some cans of salmon. Um, these are wild smoked coho, and these are kind of what we ate today. Ooh, jalapenos. Looks so good. That is so good. When we were kids, our mom, she would spend a lot of her time like processing fish or smoking fish. What's this, day three? Day four. That oh, smells so good. It's a tradition that I lived with, hopefully I'm passing on to these two. We took that and knew that a lot of Alaskans had limited access to this wild salmon. We started our Give Fish project three years ago. We have been able to donate over 135,000 cans of wild Alaska salmon to the Food Bank of Alaska. Wow. There we go. Wow. We got uh, you got fish <laughs> and ground salmon. moose below. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. We felt like that was the best thing that we could do to give back to the communities that have supported us the connection that we've found to the community, the ocean, and to a place is really unique. You just go out and you can catch a fish. You can make it for dinner. So share that with your family and your friends. And those are the things that we find so special about living here. It's a really risky way to live and to work, but fishing, for most people who do it is not really a job, more of an identity. I would give up Salmon Sisters, everything along with it, tomorrow, if it meant that we couldn't commercial fish with our family and with our spouses and have this go on for the next generation. Wealth to us is Having a job where you can use your body, you can use your mind, and it's also fulfilling to you in like your spirit. <laughs> I think that's really special and why we love it so much.